Good morning, good morning, and good morning. <laughs> good morning, Facebook. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, everybody. You have made it to the weekend. It is Saturday. And yes, during this 21-day fasting consecration, we're going live on weekends as well, as opposed to just the weekdays. So we are here. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall continue to be glad and rejoice in it. Praise be to God in the highest from whom all blessings flow. For he alone is God, beside thee there is no other, and he alone is worthy of all of our praise and all of our worship. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Man, I was sitting here, and when I say an old throwback came in my spirit this morning as I was just in prayer, as thinking about who God is, old Reverend James Cleveland says, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never, ever come short of his word. I've got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. Ah! Keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I never turn back. God is, God is, God is. God is, God is my all and all. Hallelujah. I feel that this morning, y'all. I said, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He'll never, ever come short of his word. I've got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. Said I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I never turn back. God is, God is, God is, God is, God is. My all and all. Oh, God is, God is, God is. God is, God is my own, and oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for being everything. You're all in all. You are the joy and the strength of my life. You do move pain, misery, and strife. 
You promise to keep me, never to leave me, and you will never, ever fall short of your word. I've got to fast and pray. Stay in the narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. I want to go with you when you come back. I've come too far and I'm never turning back because God is. Hey, Woo. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for being everything. <laughs> it's not just that you was, you still are. For you, my God, is. You are my all in all. Thank you for being a present help in the time of trouble. No matter what we go through, it matters not what we're facing because you still are. <laughs> the fact that God is, is the answer to whatever we're facing. Thank you, Father. Lord, we honor you for being the great I am, present tense. <laughs> you are. You are company in a lonely hour. You are a companion. You are strength. You are joy. You are love. You are peace. You don't just have those things. You are those things. You are everything. And we just reverence and worship your name for being our all and all. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Didn't plan on getting emotional this morning, but God is. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Okay, who do we have? Good morning, Sister Kendall, Linda Prasum, Cheryl Bailey, Miss Audra Jackson. Good morning. Facebook user Carla with the K. Good morning, DC. Talisha Du, Preston, praise God. Latoya Jones, hallelujah. My song too, hallelujah. Melissa Hunter, praise God. Cotton Candy, Latonya Johnson, bless you. Tiffany Jefferson, Latonya Shackelford, bless you. John Castillo, Dwayne Jones, praise God for you. Patricia Carter, God bless you. Arigail Moore, Patrice, Tony, God bless you. Sharice, Sister Deborah, God bless you. Burko, God bless you. Hallelujah. Karen Lewis, Linda Speed Kurtz, bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. As God is our all and all. All right. Our scripture reading today, three passages of scripture as our prayer focus, as it was this morning at 6 a.m. We were led in prayer uh, by the director of the prayer team, Elder. Praise God. Excuse me. God bless you. Praise God. We were led. Excuse me, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Still choked up. We were led in prayer this morning, powerful prayer, uh, with the prayer focus on life without fear. Elder Thomas took us in powerfully with life without fear. God did not call us to live fear-filled lives. And we're going to go into the scripture that supports that. Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 10 is our first passage of scripture this morning. And Isaiah 41 and 10 reads, Fear thou not, 
for I am, there that word is again, I am, <laughs> for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Fear thou not because I am with thee. Why worry about anything when the great I am is with thee? Fear and worry often comes from something we think we're lacking or that may not happen or may not come through for us. Or, But when the great I am is with you, whatever you need, God is. <laughs> whatever you lack, God is. Whatever you need to come through, God is. Whatever you're waiting on, God is. Fear not, for I am with you. So the presence of fear acts as if God isn't with us. Fear and worry becomes the result of questioning whether or not God will come through, whether or not he's got us covered, whether or not he's present and willing and able to deliver. God, command, listen, not fearing is not a suggestion. It's a commandment. God commands us, fear not. And he tells us why, because I am with you. So if you're still fearing, knowing I'm here, then that means you suspect that what's against you is greater than who's for you. <laughs> I've known people to be afraid in the anticipation of a fight they're about to get into, to be really afraid. But then when a certain big brother or older cousins or, or, or more aggressive friends show up, they get bold. <laughs> Come on, we didn't all saw this in school. I'm going somewhere. All of a sudden, they get bold. They start talking better. <laughs> they quit bagging up and start walking toward. What created that confidence? The presence of others stronger than themselves. Oh, my God, I need you to hear that. Whenever the devil faces us and we know that God is with us, we should get bolder. Ha! <laughs> Our talk should come bigger. We should begin to run toward instead of bagging up from. <laughs> Fear thou not, for I am with thee. I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee and withhold thee with my right hand, the right hand of my righteousness. I remember. I remember being at City of Refuge. 13 years ago, just shortly after I joined, sitting there in the congregation, no one even knew I was a pastor because I wasn't there for that. Uh, no one knew my name, just sitting in the back to get the word. And it was before Bishop Jones, it was a Bible study, before Bishop Jones came out with the word, the praise leader, and I, I never knew his name because I guess he wasn't there much longer after I joined. I didn't see him. I think I only saw him one other time. And he was leading worship. <clears throat> and he said something that just stirred me. Like God ministered to me through much, so much through what he said. And he said nothing deep. He didn't say a lot. I'm going to tell you right now. He said what this verse said. He began to testify before he sung about some things he was going through and, you know, financial struggles, personal, family, just 
just in a very bad place and it was pushing him back to his old lifestyle. He was being tempted to go backward. And he said, God spoke to him. And when he shared what God spoke to him, God spoke to me because I was in a very tight place. I was in a very strenuous, tight squeeze where I just had a lot against me and trying to figure it out for my family. Hadn't moved here from Louisiana that long at that time. And I was just trying to figure this thing out. And it was rough. And he said, God didn't show up with a bag of money or nothing. He said, all God told him was this. My son, I am with you. Oh, and that thing shot through me like a bolt of lightning. Because my the rhema word, I heard God speak to me through all I was going through. And that's all God was saying. I am with you. And if I really know that the creator of the universe is in this with me, I know I can't fail. If he is with me, I got to be all right. If he is with me, it has to work together for my good. If God is in this with you, it matters not what it looks like. You cannot lose. Oh, my God. Oh. When Peter and them were afraid on that ship, it was as if they had momentarily forgot. Jesus was on the ship with them. And for them to drown would have mean he would have drowned. Ah, oh, hallelujah. Fear not. Here's why. Because I am with you. Somebody need to make that their testimony today. God is with me. I don't care what you're facing. God is with me. I don't care what it looks like in your home. God is with me. I would thank you, Holy Ghost. Peter stepped out of the boat to go to Jesus when all of them stayed in the storm on the boat. Because Peter said, I would rather be out of the boat with you than on this boat without you. Hey, hey, hey. I would rather go through hell with Jesus than go through heaven without him. Because <laughs> the safety is not in the location, it's in the company hey, of God. Hallelujah. I am with you. I got to get to this next scripture, but oh my God. I am with thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm, the Psalm 56, verses 3 and 4. Hallelujah. Psalm 56, verses 3 and 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Hallelujah. I will not fear what man can do unto me. I will not fear what the IRS can do unto me. I will not fear what the government can do unto me. I will not fear what a racist law officer can do unto me. I will not fear what a hateful enemy can do unto me. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Why? Because in the time I feel afraid to conquer that, I will put my trust in thee, O Lord. I will put my trust in God. In God, I will praise his word. I will magnify what he promised me to never leave me nor forsake me. In God, I have put my trust, my confidence in him. Therefore, I will not fear 
what flesh can do unto me because my confidence is in a spirit ah, called Jehovah. So I would not fear what a mere human can do unto me. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. I will not fear what man can do unto me because my trust is in God. This is how we live life without fear, putting our confidence in the great creator of the universe, God Almighty, our heavenly father, the great Jehovah. And our last passage of scripture, 2 Timothy verse chapter 1, verse 7. Very, very familiar passage. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Right here, it says God has not given us the spirit of fear. So fear is a spirit. And that spirit is not of the Holy Spirit. God, that spirit did not come from God. So God's letting us know whenever you're dealing with fear, you know that's not of him. When you're dealing with anxiety, when you're dealing with worry, when you're dealing with doubt, disbelief, fear. That didn't come from God. So that's the devil operating in your life. He says, but here is what did come from God. And here is what does come from God. He says, power. Woo! God said, I gave you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. I gave you power over all the power of the enemy. I gave you power to overcome. Power to be more than a conqueror. Power to do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Power to have victory. And love. We know perfect love cast it out fear. God says, so hey, see, thank you, Holy Ghost. Hatred is a result of fear. Love will conquer that. God said, I've given you power. I've given you love. Love, the love of God that shares from heart to heart. Listen, when it's hard for you to love people, quit trying to love them with your love. Love them with God's love. Ah, the love he gave you, pass that toward them. And then he says, and I gave you a sound mind. I gave you a peaceful mind. I gave you a confidence. I gave you an assurance. I gave you an and an inward conviction that everything will be all right when you put your trust in God. You can live life without fear. It doesn't mean fear won't knock on your door. It means when fear knocks, you can let faith answer. So when you find yourself feeling fearful, go back to the word of God. Wait a minute. God is with me. Wait a minute. God has given me power. I have power in Jesus name. I have power and I have love and I have a sound mind because God had given to me. I will not fear what man can do unto me for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God is with me. Hallelujah. I got this. That's what you, that's how you answer the door when fear knocks. Nelson Mandela said this very powerful. I'm going to post these. I'm going to post this in the mental health tips that's coming on right after I go out, off of here. And we have the mental health panel today at 12. So tune in for that. Nelson Mandela says, uh, courage. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's the triumph over it. A courageous person Fear came knocking on their door too. They just didn't let fear control them. See, the whole key in living life without fear is not being controlled by fear. Fear will come. You will find it show up in your life. But when it shows up, knock it out with the word of God. 
Don't allow fear to be what's controlling how you move, how you act. Let faith be what controls what God says. Yes, we operate in wisdom. See, here's the thing I want you to understand. Faith doesn't negate wisdom. But faith anticipates God's outcome. Fear anticipates Satan's threat. Fear and faith operate the same way. It's called faith when your belief in what God promised. It's called fear when you believe in what Satan threatened you with. Amen. Have no fear. For God is here. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's my time. That's my time. So remember the mental health panel today, 12 o'clock. Join us right back on these platforms at 12 o'clock. We're going to deal with a lot of things. We're going to deal with fear. We're going to deal with anxiety. We're going to deal with depression. We're going to deal with anger. We're going to deal with all of these things that affect our mental health. Mental health don't mean you're crazy. You can have poor mental health. You can have good mental health. Mental health has to do with how is your mentality, how is your mindset operating, and how can you keep your mind in a better place that will bless your life and not hinder your progress. That's what it's all about. Stay tuned for that. With that being said, let me shout out. God bless you, Elder Thomas. Praise God for you, Sister Kendall, Sister Audrey. Bless you, Brother Billy. I got you, man. I'm going to holler back at you. Hallelujah. Bless you, Talisha Du. God bless you. Praise God, Sister Lisa Red. God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, Brother Billy, if you got a new number, because my number is the same, I think if you got a new number, you need to give me your number so I can call you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless you, Sister Carla with the K, Facebook user. God bless you. Sister Evelyn, God bless you. Uh, Cotton Candy, bless you. Praise God for you, Dwayne Jones. Bless you, Brother John. Sister Shackelford, God bless you. Sister Tiffany, Latanya, God bless you. Melissa, Latoya, Preston, praise God. DC, bless you. Sister Cheryl, Linda, praise him. God bless you. God bless you. Sister Miesha Durden, God bless you. Patricia Carter, bless you. Karen Lewis, bless you. Sister Sharice, Elder Joy, Sister Stephanie, God bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Chanda. Bless you. Bless you, Relevant Man. Bless you. Bless you, Sister Melissa Wingfield. Bless you. Thank God for you all, Bernadette Ingram. Praise God. Bless you, Sister Lori. Hallelujah. Brother Tony, Sister Deborah, praise God for you. Burko, God bless you. Linda Speed Kurtz, bless you. Each and every one. Stay tuned, 12 o'clock. Oh, and at 9 o'clock a.m., we'll have our uh, physical exercise class taught by Sister Tracy King, and it's line dancing. Praise God for line dancing. That's in 30 minutes, so stay tuned if you want to get a good workout in. God bless you. See you later.